Hi guys! Today we are on the lesson 41 of the Manago Online textbook. We have separate videos of the grammar lessons on our YouTube channel, so please check them out for you to understand more about this lesson. So, let's get started. Lesson 41 Sentence Patterns Based on what we've learned on Lesson 7 and Lesson 24, this lesson is about expressions of giving and receiving of things. And this lesson introduces another expressions for giving and receiving of things. And this will reflect the relationship between the giver and the receiver. So let's read sentence pattern number one. Watashi wa Mirton sensei ni hon o itadakimashita. Now the expression itadakimashita is the polite way or the polite term for the verb moraimashita. So based on our previous lessons, the object o moraimashita, the speaker receives something from the giver. So watashi wa, then itadakimashita. Just like saying watashi wa and moraimashita, I receive. Watashi wa itadakimashita, I receive. So now it's more polite. Watashi wa Mirton sensei ni hon o itadakimashita. Be careful to use moraimashita or itadakimashita. Just like in this sentence, the giver is a sensei, a teacher. So you must be more polite. Mirton sensei ni hon o itadakimashita. The same pattern with watashi wa person ni object o moraimashita. I receive something from the person particle ni. Sentence pattern number two. Watashi wa sensei ni kanji no machigai o naoshite itadakimashita. So this is the same with the verb te moraimashita. Now the moraimashita becomes itadakimashita. Watashi wa sensei ni okay, kanji no machigai o naoshite itadakimashita. When the speaker receives a favor, when the speaker receives something, a favor from the person particle ni. So the verb te Moraimashita was used. And now, the verb te itadakimashita is more polite compared to verb te moraimashita. Sentence pattern number three. Bucho no ukosan ga ocha o oshiete kudasaimashita. The verb kudasaimashita is the polite form or the polite term for the verb kuremashita. So in this sentence, bucho no ukosan is the wife of the department manager so you must be more polite so we can use the verb kudasaimas kudasaimashita instead of kuremashita so the department manager's wife taught me how or taught me the tea ceremony the verb te kuremashita or the verb te kudasaimashita remember the verb te kudasaimashita is more polite compared to the verb te kuremashita Sentence pattern number four. Watashi wa musoko ni kamihiko kiyo tsukutte yarimashita. Now the tsukutte yarimashita is the same pattern used in our previous lesson, the, the verb te agemashita. So agemashita and yarimashita is the same in meaning, but the yarimashita is commonly used for subordinates or younger people or animals and plants. For example, you gave something to animals or you gave something to plants, you will use yarimashita instead of the verb agemas. But these days, the verb agemas is commonly used instead of yarimashita to superiors or kids or, peep or younger people instead of yarimashita because agemas sounds more polite compared to yarimas. And yarimas can be used to animals or plants. So to know, so to understand more about these patterns, let's read some example sentences. Example sentence number one: Kirena osara desu ne. E kekkon no oiwai ni tanaka san ga kudasaimashita. So kirena osara desu ne. This is a beautiful plate, isn't it? Yes, it is. Kekon no oiwai ni. So kekon means marriage and oiwai is celebration or as a wedding gift. Tanaka sanga kudasaimashita. Mr. Tanaka is the one who gave it to me. So instead of kuremashita, they used kudasaimashita. So 
a more polite way of saying koremashita. Next line. Okasan, saro ni okashi o yatte mo i. Dame yo, asoko ni essa o yatte wa ikenai to kaete yaro desho. So, okasan, mother, saro ni to the monkey. Okashi o yatte mo i or yatte mo i desu ka? Can I give sweets to monkeys? So, saro ni to monkeys. Okashi is sweets and yatte mo i from the verb yarimas. Once again, if you give something to plants or animals, you will use yarimas. And the verb te mo i or verb te mo i desu ka is asking permission from someone. So, can I give sweets to the monkeys? Dami yo? No, you can't. Asoko ni over there. Esa o yatte wa ikenai. You cannot give sweets. You cannot give any food. To kaiti aru desho. Desho means right. Kaiti aru means there is something written over there. That esa o yatte wa ikenai. You cannot give them food. Example sentence number three. Sumo o mini itta koto ga arimasu ka? E, kono aida buchō ni chōrete itte itadakimashita. Totemo omoshiro katta desu. So, sumo o mini itta koto ga arimasu ka? Have you ever been to see sumo? So, koto ga arimasu. Asking someone for their experience. E, yes. Kono aida buchō ni by buchō or from buchō. Churite itte itadakimashita. From churite itte moraimashita. So instead of moraimas, you will use itadakimas or itadakimashita to be or to sound more polite. Totemo omoshiro katta desu. It was very fun. Sentence pattern number four. Natsu yasumi no homestay wa dou deshita ka? Tanoshi katta desu. Kazoko no minasan ga totemo shinsetsu ni chite kudasai mashita. So natsu yasumi is summer holiday. No homestay. Homestay. Wa dou deshita ka? How was your summer holiday? Homestay. Tanoshikatta desu. I enjoyed it. It's very fun. It was fun. Kazoko no minasan ga or everyone in the family was totemo shinsetsu ni chite they were very nice to me. So if you remember the na adjective plus shimas, na adjective ni shimas, shinsetsu ni shite in a kind way. Shinsetsu ni shite kudasaimashita. They were very kind for me. Example sentence number five. Renkyu wa nani o shimasu ka? Renkyu wa nani o shimasu ka? Kodomo wo Tokyo Disneyland e chorete itte yarimasu. So the word renkyu means consecutive holidays. Renkyu wa nani o shimasu ka? What are you going to do this coming holidays? Kodomo wo Tokyo Disneyland e so my so my children to the Tokyo Disneyland chorete itte yarimasu. I will take my children to the Tokyo Disneyland. So from surete itte agimas, so giving a favor to someone. So because the receiver is your child, so younger people, you can use yarimas. Example sentence number six: Atarashi kopi ki no chikai kata ga yoko wakaranai desu ga. Chotto oshiete kudasai masen ka? I desu yo. So atarashi kopi ki new copy machine. No tsukai kata, or the use, or how to use the new copy machine. Yoko wakaranai desu ga. I don't really understand how to use the new copy machine. Chotto oshiete kudasaimasen ka? So, oshiete kudasaimas from oshiete kurimasen ka? Oshiete kudasaimasen ka? So, asking someone a favor, again, the verb masen ka. I desu yo. Would you mind showing it to me or would you mind teaching me? I desu yo. And now let's watch the conversation video. Yo Tonsang, Asami-san, 
ご結婚おめでとうございます。乾杯乾杯次にこちらの皆さんに一言ずつお願いします。私は去年の夏のクラスでミルトン先生に英語を教えていただきました。先生の授業はユモアがあって楽しかったです。実はそのクラスにアサミさんもいらっしゃったんです。私は先生に女子のセレイの方法と絵本をいただきました。先生はセレイソルノがお女子で、研究室はいつもきれいです。ケトウフトリのオタクも素敵だと思います。ミルトンさん、今度は。素敵な人と結婚する方法という本を書いてくださいませんかぜひ読んで勉強したいです。どうぞお幸せに。レッスン41エクササイズ A。レッツリード。ナンバーワン。私は社長にお土産をいただきました。So this is from 私は社長にお土産をもらいました。Now, because the giver is a shacho or a president, we must be more polite. So we can use the term itadakimashita instead of moraimashita. Next line, Watashi wa sensei ni omiyagi o itadakimashita. I received a souvenir from sensei. Next line, Watashi wa kurota san ni omiyagi o itadakimashita. I received a souvenir from kurota san. So instead of more imashita, these examples are using itadaki mashita to sound more polite. Number two, shacho ga watashi ni omiyagi o kudasai mashita. So shacho or the president gave me watashi ni omiyagi o kudasai mashita. Gave me a souvenir. So instead of kure mashita, this sentence is using kudasai mashita once again to sound more polite because the giver is a president. Next line. Sensei ga watashi ni omiyagi o kudasai mashita. Sensei gave me a souvenir. Next line, Kurota san ga watashi ni omiyagi o kudasai mashita. Mr. Kurota gave me a souvenir. Number three, watashi wa mago ni okashi o yare mashita. So watashi wa ai mago ni to my grandson okashi o yare mashita. I gave sweets. I gave sweets to my grandson. Next line, Watashi wa ki ni mizo o yaremashita. Watashi wa ai ki ni to the tree mizo o yaremashita. This literally means I gave water to the tree. So because you are giving water to the tree, so instead of using agimas, you can use yaremas. Next line, Watashi wa neko ni esa o yaremashita. So I gave food to My cat. Watashi wa neko ni esa o yarimashita. Next line. Watashi wa sensei ni ryoko no shashi no misete itadakimashita. So on our previous lessons, the verb te moraimashita. When you receive, when the speaker receives a favor from someone, now that someone is of higher status, so we can use itadakimashita instead of moraimashita. I receive a favor. Of showing the travel photos from my sensei. Sensei ni ryoko no shashi no misite itadakimashita. Next line, watashi wa sensei ni Kyoto e surete itte itadakimashita. So I received a favor from my sensei. Kyoto e surete itte itadakimashita. My sensei took me to Kyoto. Next line, watashi wa sensei ni repoto o naoshite itadakimashita. Once again, I receive a favor from my sensei. Repoto o naoshite itadakimashita. He checked my report for me. So once again, be careful when using itadakimas or moraimas. Because the giver is a sensei, so it's a higher status. You can use itadakimashita instead of moraimashita. Number five, sensei ga ryoko no shashi no misite kudasai mashita. So sensei gave me a favor of showing 
the travel photos. Next nine, Sensei ga Kyoto e chorete itte kodasaimashita. My Sensei gave me a favor of taking me to Kyoto. Sensei ga repoto naoshite kodasaimashita. My Sensei gave me a favor of checking my report. Repoto naoshimas to check the report. Number six, Watashi wa mago ni ego o oshiete yarimashita. Watashi wa ai mago ni to my grandson ego o oshiete yarimashita. I taught my grandson English. Ego o oshimas. Next line. Watashi wa mago o yochien made mukai ni itte yarimashita. So I fetch my grandson from the kindergarten or from school. So Yuchien is kindergarten. Next line, watashi wa mago no shikodai wo watashi wa mado no shikodai wo mite yarimashita. I check the homework of my grandson. So mite yarimashita. So as a favor. Number 7, hiragana de kaite kodasaimasen ka? So hiragana de kakimas to write in hiragana. Kaite kodasaimasen ka? Would you, can you please write it in hiragana? So asking someone a favor. So showing more politeness to that someone. You can use kudasaimas instead of kurimas. Next line. Mo skoshi yukkuri hanashite kudasaimasen ka? Mo skoshi a little more. Yukkuri slowly hanashite kudasaimasen ka? Can you speak more slowly please? Next line. Kono kanji no yomikata wo oshiete kodasaimasen ka? So, kono kanji no yomikata, the reading of this kanji, wo oshiete kodasaimasen ka? Would you please teach me how to read this kanji? So, that's all for this lesson, guys. Make sure to watch my grammar lesson videos on our YouTube channel for you to understand more about today's lesson. So, see you guys again next time. Matane!